Hey guys, I'm Hunter, Hunter Hules at uh, Parakeet Pete Steampunk Balloon, and I will be your pilot today. It's been its first seven years just in eyesight of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. Parakeet Pete, he found it there, he purchased it, had it dismantled, and brought it to the Branson Landing. It is the only one in North America of its kind, and the other ones that are like it are in parts of Europe and Asia. However, this one is the tallest in the world. There's no real big restrictions with this ride. Um, anyone that's under the height of the countertop here at Parakeet Pete's, uh, which is under 42 inches, they ride for, uh, for free, actually. Um, we can take up to 11 people in the balloon at once. I'm number 12. Uh, the pilot must go with you. He wants to have a good time, too. Uh, and it is disabled friendly, yeah. We can take handicap. We can put two uh, wheelchairs in there. Kids that are under 42 inches or infant size, we can even take them in a stroller, or uh, parents are allowed to take them in a... Uh, carrier or carry on or anything like that. Oh. Even a car seat will do. The ride is about five to ten minutes and we go up and get a great view of downtown Branson. We're up there for five to ten minutes and we can see up at a 188 feet view uh, at the lowest point of Branson. It's really spectacular, very unique. One of the most unique ones was actually March uh, this, uh, 2015 when we opened. We had a uh, couple get up here and got married. Uh, it was the bride, the groom, the maid of honor, and the ordained minister. Uh, and they were a bit of a biker group, which was really cool. Um, they went up 188 feet and uh, they got hitched. And I was down here piloting for them. And whenever they were done, she just waved out and they were done coming back down. When they came through, everyone threw the rides. There's a hundred other bikers down here. It was really cool uh, to kind of start out at Parakeet Pete's here like, like that. A uh, really good way to take our first step. Um, some other unique things that have happened. We throw a, a steampunk costume contest, and we get some of the greatest costumes that come uh, here in Branson. Uh, people from all over the country, even Oklahoma. We've had people from Illinois, and some just right in our backyard here in Branson. Uh, those are, they come and see us. And, hang out with us and they write the zip lines, we do photo shots, uh, the winner gets a, a grand prize, but I think it was $200 last year, and we're having it again on June 11th. Well, when, at first when it was being built, nobody knew what it was, and everyone thought it was a missile silo. We got all sorts of questions, what, do you know what they're building over there, what is this, and uh, this giant spiral thing that's starting to build, be built, no one knew what was going on. Uh, the really cool part was that we kind of knew and we weren't really telling nobody and uh, we got to we got to talk to people like we don't know what do you think it is there uh, we had like we had as far as a carousel a start of a bridge uh, another zip line everyone was just trying to figure out what it was no one had any clue that there was going to be a giant balloon inside this tower uh, steampunk theme is a, a science fiction genre uh, it's it's based off of the books of Jules Verne and H.G. Uh, Wells, which are great writers. Um, you probably know uh, Jules Verne better with uh, Around the World in 80 Days. Uh, everything that's science fiction about that book is also mostly true too. It's whenever they, it's about the times whenever they discover things uh, of science facts, and uh, they're trying to bring back uh, the history of scientific discovery in the books too. Um, and the way people dress is just kind of part of the genre. It, it's not as much about uh, even the, the get up and the costumes, it's about the, the books and the history of those books and the history of going back in time in the steampunk era and keep going back. And balloons and airships play a huge part in the integer and uh, uh, they have, they're in the books there's ones that have uh, warships with air in the air, fights, um, pirates, everything. Anything that a kid could even imagine was all about even steampunk too. It's just a whole twist that people just ignored. Uh, back in um, the 90s, they started to kind of see and feel more about it and uh, really kind of took off in the 90s. And, uh, and here we are in 2016, and we have our own balloon. It's kind of starting off, and we do costume parties, our costume contest, and we throw huge events for people. Uh, we've had weddings in here. We've had hundreds of proposals. Um, millions of people love this thing. It's really beautiful, and it's a good time. We're open March through December from 10 a.m. until the fun is done. Guys, thanks for joining me. 
Again, my name is Hunter. I hope you enjoyed our time here. Come out and see me. I'd be happy to have you up there.